Hey guys, it's Trevor Daly. Hey, I want to come with a little tip. Again, I like to keep these videos short, so it should be about a minute. But I want to share with you an effect that I like to do in Lightroom um, in order to bring more focus to a certain area of my photo. Now, this photo right here was taken with a tilt shift lens, which I love uh, my 90 millimeter tilt shift lens by Canon. Um, you can see the tilt shift lens, basically I can have certain areas of the picture in focus and certain areas of the picture out of focus. So I'm basically drawing the eyes um, to the sharp areas of the photo. Now, the same effect can also be done in Lightroom. Now it's not, I don't want to say it's, it's uh, exactly like a tilt shift by any means, um, but I, I guess I would call it more of a selective focus. So if you have a certain area of your picture, let's just, mm, let's just look through here. I just got a few pictures here. Actually, let's use this one right here. So let's say I want to draw more focus to my couple right here in this grass. What I can do is I can take my radio filter and when I click the radio filter, I'm going to have my sharpness. I'm going to drop it all the way down to negative 100. Now, here's a little trick though. If I draw this, you can see it creates, it, it, you know, it, it blurs that just a little bit. But let's say I want more effect. Well, unfortunately, minus 100 is as far as I can go, right? Well, here's the, here's the trick. In Lightroom, what I can do is I can click on this little pin. On the Mac, I can hold down Command and Option, and then click and drag, and it basically will duplicate that pin. And when it duplicates it, it's it's adding more of that effect, you know, more and more and more. Now, that same thing can be done on the PC. It's uh, Control, Alt, and drag. So Command, Option, drag on the Mac, Control, Alt, drag on the PC. Um, and by doing that, again, what you're doing is you're you're basically um, adding more of that effect, so minus 100, minus 100, minus 100, and uh, it's great to be able to use for those those things. Now you can also do the same thing. Let's just say I was uh, with this photo here. Let's just say I was using the graduated filter. I can do the same thing. I can drag that filter across, and then I can just Command Option and drag, and there you go. I'm duplicating those each time I'm dropping a new pin. I'm duplicating that. Same thing in the corner. Let's just say I'm going to drop this. Boom, boom. Again, Command, Option, Drag, or Control, Alt, Drag on the PC. Um, it's a great way of being able to duplicate pins, um, thereby creating that effect. If we want more of that blur, let's just go back to this photo again real quick. So here's kind of a before and an after, and you can kind of see where I'm pulling the attention of the photo. Now again, some people might not like that effect. Uh, some people might. It depends on the photo. I'm not even sure on this photo here. I, I kind of went a little overboard just to, to show what I was doing. I, I, I think I dragged and duplicated those pins probably uh, way too many times. But again, it's just the idea. Um, now you can take that same principle, find a photo that you would like, create that selective focus in your photo, and then if you need more of it, just Command, uh, Option, Drag on the Mac, or Control, Alt, Drag on the PC, and you can create more of those pins. So hopefully that tip was useful. Guys, feel free to subscribe. You can also find me on F-Stoppers. Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it. Bye.